What is up guys? Welcome back to Binging with Bitch Ass and today we're going to learn how to make the ultimate sandwich. I have everything I need right here. It's time it's time to make the sandwich. In this jar, in this little thing here, excuse me, we are going to take some take some mayo. It would be better if I made this shit myself. Some homemade relish from a good friend of ours. This shit's gonna be good. Set that down. I'll put this away while I'm done. Dijon mustard. Have it open first. Damn it. Okay, here we go. Do we take our Dijon mustard? Throw a dash of that shit in here. Might be a bit much. I'll just add more mayo to it. Why I have two spoons is beyond me. You know, I'll throw the biggest spoon. And then, of course, who could forget the most important part? We're going to add some spices to it. Some paprika. garlic powder, even some onion powder. And then, maybe a, oh wait, perhaps a dash of ketchup would go in it. Looking good. All right, let's try it. Let's try it. Let's try our sub sauce. Damn it. Fan friggin' tastic. Now on to the vegetables. All right. So here we have our lettuce, red onion. And tomato. We'll start. I absolutely suck at this. We'll throw this out. I'm trying to slice these as thin as possible, but it doesn't seem like I can manage it. That seems like enough tomatoes for now. Wrap up our tomato. Put it. Put in the fridge for later. 
All right, take a few layers off our head of iceberg lettuce. So, all right, put half of it away. go we put the rest in the fridge I might put that in, I'll put I'll put this in a bowl for later take this part of the lettuce put it in the fridge later and of course how could we forget our good friend the red onion peel the skin off we gotta peel the skin off it There's another layer of skin we need to peel off, but we'll do it by cutting this thing. All right, move, move our lettuce back. Hmm, I'm not sure how good this is. I think I got ripped off. We'll just peel this layer off. That feeling when the onion hits you like a truck. This is getting messy. Peel the mem, wipe that membrane right off. I'll tilt this a bit so you can actually see what I'm doing. Wipe that off and start slicing off slices. Hmm. Still looks good to me. Maybe a little stained on the inside. That's good enough. We'll, we'll repeat the same step we did with our tomato by taking our onion. putting it in the fridge until we need more of it. Here we have a sub roll, the least expensive part of the whole equation. I was foolish for going to uh, going to the nearby grocery store where everything's expensive as fuck instead of going to the far away grocery store where everything's cheap. Well, not exactly cheap, but cheaper than the other place take my knife that I just rinsed off and carefully slice through this monstrosity this I'm dead yep. hmm it's already coming apart hold up See if we can pull this off. That was kind of sloppy, but we did it. Now it's time for our... Now it's time for our secret ingredient. Take it. I'm not sure if I can have enough for the top and bottom of my sandwich, but it would be nice if you could take your top and bottom of your sandwich and slather it with the sauce. Hmm. 
Mm. May need to make more sauce. Mm. I don't think I made enough sauce. I'd say that's good enough for what I have. Now time to start layering the meats on. All right, it's meat time. We're gonna start with roast beef. Fantastic. Put about five slices on there. If you have that many. All right. Next up is the ham. to layer it the other way. There we go. Then we take our turkey. I wish they sliced these a bit thinner. Looking good. There should be enough left over for everyone else. Yeah, I live with a I live with about four or five other people. Damn. It's not shutting. Salami's up next. Too bad I couldn't get the bigger stuff because it was overpriced at the place I got it from. As you guys saw earlier in the video. Damn it. I might just put all of it on here. Move that. Take our salami, pile it high. Sounds to me like it's raining outside. There we go. They got garlic in the bed. Okay. 
And the last meat we're going to apply to our monstrosity to our monstrosity is of course pepperoni. I tried to find the thinnest pepperoni they had, but I am not sure this will suffice. It's gonna be a real bitch to get out. Mm. It's greasy too. If I don't finish this sandwich, someone else can have the other half. Move the turkey, let me move this turkey up a bit. Fuck it, that works. I could use three rows of pepperoni, but this thing is mon is a monstrosity as it is. Now it's time to pile on some cheese. All right. Two cheeses will be used in the making of this sandwich. Provolone and cheddar. Not exactly conventional. We're not going to use, actually fuck it, we'll use whole slices. We'll use a handful of whole slices. One, two, this a, yeah, three, and four. Contents of this sandwich, you know what? Maybe I will share it with everybody. All right. Next is the cheddar. Maybe I should have done this first. One, two, three, and four. Now we're going to now we're going to prep a couple other vegetables that will be used in the making of this sandwich. <clears throat> okay, so there's going to be olives on it. Not too many. Can opener sucks. And there we go. We got drink. We'll, we'll fish out a few of them. We'll fish out a few olives, say ten or so. Maybe fifteen or so. Seven. Ten should be enough for this. Who knows? All right. We're going to uh, slice these up into as tiny pieces as possible. I could have bought these pre-sliced, but fuck it.
All right. Then we're going to add this cornucopia of toppings onto our sandwich. It's time, it's that time again. We're going to add, it's time to add onto this monstrosity and see if, uh, see if it'll all hold together. We're going to start start actually no that's a bad place to start let's pile on as much lettuce as possible whatever I don't use can go in the fridge Alright, that looks good. Take our tomatoes, throw them on in a similar fashion to what we did with the cheese earlier. Take our onions, spread them out. We're not using all of these, we'll just bag them up. Throw some pickles on it. Ideally, you want to use sandwich pickles, but I got burger pickles here. The only difference is really like the size of them. And then last but not least are our helping of black olives. Maybe I could have used one more tomato slice on it. All right, sandwich time. This is the most impressive looking sandwich I have ever made in my life. Time to clean up my mess. Give you guys a cross section and eat at what I can. This thing is too big for any plate. I have at the moment. So, we are going to cross section it right on the board. Let's see. Already the salami's popping off. Isn't that good? Ain't this the most epic sandwich you've ever seen? Let's dig in.
I've changed the camera angle to my usual fare from when I from when I did the other videos. I think I could have used more cheese, probably twice the cheese, or broken the cheese in half and spread it out a little better. But holy hell, this sandwich is huge. I don't I doubt if I can't finish 30 sliders. How am I supposed to finish this? The other, the others need to try it. Oh. Maybe I should have went and got a drink before digging in. cannot grasp the true form of a sandwich this epic. You know what? I think half a sandwich is enough. I'll feed the rest to my folks. Hmm. Maybe I should have ate this half and give the, them this half. It's a sandwich so massive you have to unhinge your jaw just to fucking eat it. That's how you know it's epic. This needs a drink to go with it. I'll be right back. Yeah, so I decided to get me some damn water. <clears throat> I don't have nothing else. With something like this, I don't think you'd want to drink it. A soda or fucking juice with it. Sometimes all you need is just a glass of a tall glass of water like that. <laughs> all right, back to our sandwich. Good thing I'm right next to the fridge. Free refills.
shit. I don't know how much battery I have left. Let me check. Ten percent. Damn. I need to get this thing on a charger before it's too late. Hope I don't vomit from this thing. Because this thing is massive. $60 sandwich right here. You know what? I'm going to I'm going to take the other half of this sandwich and give it up to Lubrication Loop and see if he wants it. I'll be right back. You want the other half of this sandwich? It's the one I made. What? It's got beef, ham, and turkey on it. It's a big it's a it's a big one. Check it out. Huh? Oh, you're cleaning your shoes? All right, I'll ask you later. What? What's that? I'll, I'll leave it downstairs, though. I just now realized uh, that I was out of frame after looking back at the replays. So I decided to fix it. Wish me luck.
Gotta wash this cutting board when I'm done with it. What in the hell? I know, right? I made this shit myself. Nice. What you got there? Some leftovers from us. Alright. I'm gonna save that other piece for Elliot. I hacked off a slice, gave it to Elliot. I mean, Lucas. Right. Yeah. My dad just came home. Finish the whole thing, even half of it. I'm recording. Shit cost me six. It, it shit cost me sixty bucks to make the whole thing. Price it, yeah, cause the yeah, the, the, cause the meats were, yeah, I had to pull from savings again. I, I should have gone to uh, freaking McMackins to begin with instead of purchasing most of the stuff at Grocery Lane because it's a, at least a little bit cheaper. The sub roll, for example, was two bucks. At least we still have lettuce left, lettuce and olives and all that. Cut. So it saved me a few dollars getting that stuff. They asked me to get milk on the way here. So I did. That is it. Yeah, that is a, that is a very picturesque sandwich I made. Yeah. I'm going to go to the store here in a second. All right. Yeah, because they didn't have sub rolls at, at uh, the grocery line, so I went to McMackin's and got it. Sub roll was two dollars. So their lunch meat's cheaper there. Um, their lunch meat appears cheaper there. Yeah, I think. Like they didn't have the salami I was looking for, uh, except they wanted a whole pack of it for, for sixteen. Well, for like, who, how knows how many uh, and pepperoni too. So, so I went and got the smaller ones. But then I discovered I could get the salami I wanted at Grocery Land for, uh, not Grocery Land, but uh, freaking McMackins for, for like three, for like three sixty nine. Yeah. What I did was, I blew more money in the meats because I was gonna go because I went to the deli to get them. I wonder if the del deli over there is cheaper though. I made a sauce for it too. There's none of it left because I used it all. 
I took Dijon mustard. I took uh, I took mayo. I took some sauces, uh, some spices from there. The homemade relish over there, and put it all together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and a hint of ketchup, of course. Mm. Yeah. I thought instead of blowing money on McDonald's breakfast, I I go ahead with this project. I don't know if I'll be able to finish it. That's why I decided to only have half of it. Share the rest of it. Five different types of meats and two different types of cheeses on it. See ya. We need trash bags? Yes, we need trash bags. Luke, Lucas had me take the trash out because he's, uh, because he's, uh, worn, a bit worn out from track, from practice. Mm -hmm. I know the feeling. I used to, I did the same thing when I was his age. Yeah. freezing up out here. Yep, I almost slipped. Be careful. So, what did you think of it? It was fucking amazing. Glad to know you liked it. Aftermath. Hell, I can't even finish this. Uh, yeah, I gave him half of what this is. Because uh, the sandwich is big enough to feed because of, because from the look of it, the sandwich was big enough to feed four people. It's fine. Uh. I need to wash this cutting board after I'm done with it. You know what? I think I'll take <clears throat> this half and save it for later. Cause this is one filling sandwich. That corner piece was deceiving. Wow. It was good, but there's still a lot of meat on it. But it wasn't as much as that. Yeah, sorry, I bamboozled you, man. It was enough food. Yeah, still enough. It's like a normal, it was like a normal size sandwich with a little bit more bread. Yeah. And slightly more ingredients. Yeah, because I put a bunch of it on it. It's shit better than Subway though, I'll tell you what. Yeah, it's better than Subway. Yeah, yeah, the hell with Subway, I made it, I make a better sandwich. Oh, yeah. Anyways, leave a like on the video, uh, comment below. Join the Discord, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitch, uh, and sub, sub to this channel and the, and the main channel. This has been Dreamcast 499, and uh, I'm trying not to vomit. Anytime.